What's going on, Chatbot Builders? Today, I'm going to show you how to set up admin alerts. We're going to learn how to use the notify admin function, as well as another couple of ways that you can alert your internal team or your clients with your chatbot. Let's get right to it. All right, so when you log into your Chatbot Builder AI account, the first thing that you're going to want to make sure is you go to settings and pop over to admin. We're going to click on manage and we'll click these three dots here. Let's click on edit. And we can see that I've got my email set for my notifications, my phone number set for notifications. I'm a super admin and I am subscribed to all notifications. And so here are the channels in which I will be notified on. I get browser notifications on my phone. I'll also get Telegram, SMS, email, and messenger notifications when something is important. Usually it's gonna be from the notify admin type. So let's click save and set one up. In this case, let's go to flows and let's click add. And we'll call this demo notify admin test. And so what we'll want to do here is we'll click our block and let's call this um, reason for notification. And we can ask what is the problem. Let's click on add content. And what we'll do is we'll use a get user data element. And we'll say, please let us know what we can help you with. And we will notify a manager. All right, and we'll click on edit. And let's choose text. And let's click on reason. We'll say reason will be the name of this custom field. And so we're going to save whatever they type in for the reason custom field. And we'll remove the skip button. Let's click save. And so they're going to tell us the reason for the notification. And then the next thing that we'll do is we'll click continue. And let's change the name here to notify manager. Save, add content, and we're going to click actions. And what we can do here is Maybe we want to click notify admin and we'll say Ryan and we'll say someone needs help. And the reason is, and then we'll just use the custom field for reason that we just made reason. And so what this will do is this will tell me in all of those channels that I just listed in a nicely formatted way, what the reason for the notification is. Now I could ask for other information like their name, email, phone number. In this case, I just am gonna be notified and about the reason. Um, you could also take it one step further by adding another additional note here and we'll say pause conversation. And we'll click save, add content, actions, and we'll go to inbox and we will transfer the conversation to a human. And so we also have the ability to notify all the admins that need to be notified here. I'm gonna just check this off because I've already been notified. And so now we've got a nice looking flow here. Push uh, the reason for notifications, we're gonna get that. We'll get the notification in all the channels that I've selected. All right, so let's recap this. We have our reason for notification. We have the action that will contain the reason that we collected from this step. And then we're going to notify the manager, which will be me in this case, and then we will pause this conversation. And so what this does is it makes sure that your bot is not going to continue to answer questions. You may or you may not want that. Um, totally your call. Let's hit publish and test it. So we'll get the publish link, copy, paste, and let us know the reason that you need help. I need help with a function that I just can't get right. And I'll hit send. In this case, no message was sent to me as a customer, but I'll be getting a notification on my phone. And it says, someone needs help. I need help with a function that I just can't get right. So I can say no problem, no problem. And you can see there's my message and I could send a voice note. Hey there, thank you so much 
for letting us know about the assistance you need with your function. And my voice note will be sent here. You know what? Let's go ahead and be done with this person. And what we can do is send a flow to rate the human chat, which I've just done. And so now I can see, I, uh, thanks for chatting. Please rate your experience with Ryan because I've assigned myself to this conversation and we'll just say five. And that should be all good. We appreciate the feedback. And so now I'll also get a notification because we just got feedback. And that is how you stay in the loop with what is going on. Guys, I hope that you liked this video about how to actually use the notify admin feature, which is a very powerful feature. And I hope that more of you use it. Our inbox is only going to get better. And as always, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Peace.